Queen Elizabeth is one of the most famous women on earth and has met scores of important people over the course of her lifetime. So if you're ever lucky enough to meet her, here is a handy guide of what not to do. According to the royal family's official website, there are no obligatory codes when meeting the queen or a member of the family. Long gone are the days when the royals were thought to be gods and treated as such. But it adds that many people wish to observe the traditional forms. So how would you do that? 1. Don't call her Elizabeth. Leave her nickname, Lilibet, for Prince Philip. When you first meet the queen, the correct formal address is Your Majesty and subsequently Ma'am, pronounced like jam. And then when you're saying goodbye, Call her your majesty again. 2. Don't just stand there. If you are a man, when you first meet her majesty, you should bow your neck from the head only. Women should do a small curtsy, see Theresa May for a large one. But do remember to stand up. If she walks into a room and you remain in your comfy seat then it'd be considered quite rude indeed. 3. Don't be late. Guests should always arrive before royals. 4. Don't touch her unless you really must. This one is thought to date back to medieval times when royals were equated with the gods. Nowadays, however, it's more likely just to avoid hundreds of people smothering the 92-year-old at a social occasion. But in 2009, Michelle Obama put her arm around the queen, and her majesty responded in kind. And in 2017, Canada's Governor General was forced to defend his actions after a slippy carpet led to accusations of a breach of royal etiquette. David Johnston raised eyebrows when he lightly touched her arm as they descended a staircase, but he said he thought it was worth breaching protocol to be sure that there was no stumble. 5. Don't just start chatting away. You should wait until the Queen speaks to you, and let her lead the conversation, falling back on small talk if there's an awkward silence, and don't ask any personal questions. If you ever end up at a dinner table with Her Majesty, it is customary for the guest of honor to sit to the right of the queen and the convention is that she speaks to this person during the first course of the dinner, then switches attention to the person on her left for the following course. Formula One star Lewis Hamilton, who was seated to her left at one function, didn't know this and tried to speak to Her Majesty but was politely told, No, you speak that way first and I'll speak this way and then I'll come back to you. 6. Don't turn your back on the queen. It's seen as rude. See Donald Trump. 7. Don't get carried away on the free bubbles. Royal etiquette experts Debrez reminds guests in times of overexcitement or nervousness not to drink too much alcohol. But don't worry too much, Her Majesty is fond of a tipple or two, so you'll be in good company. 8. Don't leave first. You should always wait for the queen to leave before you make a move for the door. Debrez states guests should never leave an event before for the royal personage unless permission has been granted through a private secretary. The same goes for eating, and going to bed. Imagine being invited to spend the night, 